And so if you're passionate about something, and you're good at something, and the world needs something, that might just be what God has asked you to offer him. Let me tell you a story about a grade 12 student that I knew. He had to do an assignment in grade 12. I was his youth pastor. He came to me, and he said, uh, John, I've, I've got to take some kind of a schmo job here, and I don't really know what to do. It's called the work experience program, and I have to put in 100 hours or I can't graduate. What do you recommend doing? Cam was part of a group that we went downtown on the downtown east side every Tuesday night and we served uh, food and we held the church service and he was even preaching every now and then to homeless people at that, that time. And I said, Cam, why don't you do something that you're actually passionate about rather than just swinging a hammer for 100 hours in your grade 12 year with, uh, in a construction company? Why don't you try to take on something that our city actually needs that you're passionate about and you're pretty good at? So we thought about this, pro, this campaign that we were going to write. This is the very Starbucks where it all began. Basically the idea was, is that what if we could get as many people in Metro Vancouver to give a dollar a day for 30 days in the month of November 2008 to help four different organizations. That's uh, UGM, Hope for Freedom, Potter's Place, and Night Shift Ministry. And he started to rally around people. He got a grant for $8,000 from a school in Saskatchewan. He took a 32-hour trip out to Briarcrest College uh, where we, we talked about the campaign, we talked about the vision. We came in second place and won an $8,000 grant to go towards the campaign. A lot of unforeseen opportunities open up to go speak at schools, go speak at leadership events uh, within uh, school districts. Um, and get fundraisers going there, and that's something we saw a lot of positive response with. People thought it was really interesting that this is a very youth-centered campaign. On the last Friday that I collected, about $660 came in, and it's really encouraging. You know, I didn't give up. On July 1st, we had this event uh, called Hope for Hastings. What if we, the churches, could come to the downtown east side today on Canada Day, and we could bring hope to Hastings? What if we had all these 7,000 sparklers, and we lit them up on the streets, sang O Canada, us saying Amazing Grace, we had a band play. The night before there was uh, a murder and, and theft and all that going on. And then this next night people were worshiping and dancing in the streets and, and we got a picture of what heaven was like. And, and those are the things that I look back at Dollar Day and I say, wow, look what God did. On September 26th, we had this event called One Homeless Night, where uh, basically we got as many youth groups as we could to come together at a BC Lions training facility. And we spent one night as if we were someone who was homeless. We slept on a, a cardboard mat. We watched this uh, video called Tears for April. And really just to give the churches and the people of this area an idea of what is going on. And hopefully we'll respond with action, uh, giving sacrifice of our time, our talent, and our energy. And uh, yeah, and end this thing called poverty in, in downtown Eastside and all throughout Metro Vancouver. Organizers say more than 60 students took part and each student donated $30. The lessons that he learned in that time and the experience that we all got. One time we got to speak at GM Place for a rally where the whole place was filled and we got to talk about this dollar a day campaign that we were leading. And it was a, led by students who just took the things that they were passionate about, the things that they were good at, rallying people around a cause, and what the world needed and still needs at that time is an advocate to fight homelessness. Cam uh, got some great experiences, and I think that was a huge catalyst for becoming the great leader and pastor that he is today and why I'm so proud of him.